guys, we're here at Snake Creek Gap. They're doing the Georgia Jewel right now. That's why there's so many cars. So yeah, here we are. We're off on another section. There goes the Snake Creek Gap. And off we go. Well, probably not, not as many spiders today. Yeah, that's <laughs> good. All right, guys, so we made it to the crest at about 1.12. You got a little campsite over here. Um, not the flattest, a lot of rocks, but I guess you could put a tent up. And I think we made it up to the crest, and this looked like maybe a grave, definitely a pile of rocks. Some, Indian nobility. I'm sorry? The, the noble people in the tribe, that's where they buried them. Oh, gotcha. That's where they that's the grave. Very cool. Alright, so um, first off, 1.1 miles is just climbing. That's all you do. Not too bad, but that's because it was the beginning of the day. But if that was towards the end of the day, it would hurt a little more. Probably a moderate climb. Alright. All right, guys, the trail goes northbound that way. There's this nice campsite here at 134, 135. It's a nice little view. Mostly obstructed right now. But in the winter, you can imagine it's pretty nice. All right. All right, guys, at about 1.45-ish, as a t tiny pull-off off the trail, you're on this ridge line. The trail goes along that ridge line down there. You can't really see it from here, but you got this nice view. This section has been pretty already. Alright guys, at 3.78, you got this little campsite and you could technically put it on both sides if you absolutely needed to. You got a nice little campsite here off to your right, and again it's 3.7879. This section so far has been very pretty. You're on a ridge for the most part. It's around 4.5 miles, I forgot to show you a little bit of the trail. We're going down, it looks like, from this crest line now, finally. And it's just a gorgeous little section that through. And we've seen a handful of runners, probably, I don't know, maybe 10 by now. We haven't seen one in a good minute. So we're gonna show you a little bit of the trail. All right, over and out. You guys can see there's the trail right down there. Probably used to be water here. But none this year. None this time, I should say. All right. 
All right, guys, we're at exactly five miles, and there's this beautiful little campsite here, which, and there's even some places back there if you got overflow, which I'm sure that there's a creek or a little spring running in the winter on the other side, but not right now. This would be a really nice campsite, especially if that little spring is is active and you got water. You get place to make camp for the night and uh, rehydrate. All right, over and out. All right, guys, on the other side of this right there, you could see a campsite. This is probably like 0.1, not even 0 0.1, 0.05 from that previous campsite. There's plenty of camping opportunities here. It's a beautiful little section. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that water too. Not flowing. Look at all those uh, frogs. Yeah. Little pockets of water still. It's flowing though. It's trickling down through there between the rock and the rocks. Yeah. yeah. So I did it guys. I found water on the Georgia Pinhodian summer. Unlock I unlocked an achievement there. <laughs> All right, over. All right, guys, look at this dangerous ford here with water everywhere. Look at this. All right, guys, we're at about six miles. And this is what the trail looks like. For a little bit, the trail joins what appears to be an old logging road or forest road. And it's just beautiful section well blazed well marked no problems with either of those you got some water in this section even now it's not a whole lot but you got opportunities for water here it'd be hard to fill a bladder if you got like a sawyer but if you got a pump you got no problem getting water even in this time of the year all right over and over all right, guys, that's 6.8. We're at 6.9 now, but back there, there's a aid station for the runners. So I couldn't really record. But you join this uh, gravel road here. We're about five miles to England Gap, England Spring Gap. We gotta climb up Hurricane, I believe. And then from there, be down to England Spring, then up one more climb, and then down to, well, down is a relative term, because the gap is pretty high up there, uh, up to a good dug gap. All right, over now. All right, guys, at 7.37 miles, you come up to the top of this, that Pinhoti comes that way, you get to the top, of this road and you go off into the woods here so look to your left there's going to be a sharp sharp switch back to your left and there's your sign back into the woods all right over and out all right guys we're at uh, 7.75 and there's kind of a little campsite here not ideal for a tent but you can make it work and definitely for a hammock all right over and out 9.2 we're gonna show you a little bit of the trail so getting off that road you climb for a little bit and you get back on this little ridge line and it gets a little more rocky in certain sections nothing bad certainly nothing very bad and uh, short up and downs has been really nice hiking through this section really easy Nothing too difficult. We're gonna show you a little bit of the trail. We're gonna have some Georgia Jewel Runners passing us up probably in an hour or so. All right. All right guys, at about 9.5 trail starts going downhill a bit 
and uh, it becomes a little more rocky, a little more narrow, nothing too bad. A little harder to keep a good pace. Figured I'll show you a little bit of the trail. Alright. Oh. It's about 10 miles, point three. Show you a little bit of the rocks that you're going to have to deal with. Kind of come and go. There were sections and better sections. A little bit of ups and downs here and there as well. Nothing too bad. All right, 10.4, very awkward campsite. There's a few on this ridge line. Um, that I, there's one that I passed that had just an awkward tent place with a fire pit. Um, a few places here and there, but nothing very well established or something that looks like a like ideal spot to pit, pitch a tent at least. All right. All right, guys, at a little over 11 miles, you start to lose some elevation quickly. And I'm just, that's all I'm gonna say, really. I'm putting this away so I can focus on hiking. All right, over and out. 11.8, you got an okay campsite, maybe two tents max. Should be coming up to English Gap fairly shortly. And there I'll take a look at the guide and see exactly where we're at and what's coming up. Alright, all right guys, at 18 or 11.85, the trail here takes a hard left, right, but you got this little Georgia Jewel station. I think I'm gonna take a little quick break here. I'm taking a seat. All right, guys, so at English Gap, where was that last section when I showed you that water supply for the Georgia Jewel? Um, if you go straight, it goes 1.7 miles to Hurricane Creek Trailhead, I believe. But from there, you descend for a little bit, and then you got a, a decent butt kicker of a climb. It's short, but it's steep. Make you feel your heart in your ears, that's for sure. And then after that, it kind of levels off again, shorts up and shorts down. It's been pretty easy after that. All right, that's it for now. Over now. All right, guys, 14.42. Got a nice little campsite here, dry, of course. But huge fire pit, a few campsites, a uh, few campsites. Not bad. All right, over and over. 13.75. Seems to come to the top of a ridge. Again. Got some rocks on both sides of the trail. All right, I think I'm gonna take a little break here. Over the rocky section here. All right, over. All right guys, at a 14.45, you got a little killed in line of duty. Lieutenant Theodore Mark Sun, Mark Sunna? Can't really read it, but you got a little flag here. 